Hello guys, in this video we're gonna see how to deploy Windows 10 virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. So this is the Microsoft Azure's dashboard. So on in the search bar just type virtual machines. So click on this virtual machines here. So click on create and choose Azure virtual machine. So for the resource group, if you have any previous resource group, you can choose that. But I am creating new one here. So just type tutorial for windows. You can name it whatever you want. So I have created a resource group and selected it. So just give a name for your virtual machine. In this case, I am typing windows 10. So leave the region as default and availability zone as default so just scroll down and select the image in this case i'm going to select the windows 10 so just scroll down and click on this windows 10 pro so for the username and password just type any username you want but you have to remember the username and password to log into the windows 10 virtual machine so just enter the password so after you have typed your username and password so scroll down so click on this here I confirm I have an eligible Windows 10 license so click on next so in this page leave everything as default so click on next so leave everything as default here also so click on next so next so just click on this review plus create as you can see we will be charged 8 rupees per hour so just scroll down so and click on create here as you can see our deployment has been started so wait for a few seconds it will take some time as you can see our deployment is in progress as you can see our deployment is complete so just click on go to resource so now our windows 10 virtual machine is running so to connect to the windows machine so just click on this connect button here so choose the rdp and scroll down and click on this download rdp file you can see our rdp file has been downloading so save this so open that file so click on connect here so type the username and password so click on ok so click on yes As you can see our windows 10 machine is now connected so this is our virtual windows 10 desktop so just click on next so this is for this video and i will mention the next one